Hi there, today's video is for anyone who's been dealing with chronic pain, chronic sickness, or has a loved one, maybe a child or someone very close to you who has been dealing with this. So today I'm just going to pray for you and speak the word of God and life over you. My name is Selena and I am a mom of one child and a mentor to many. I have a gift shop called Pearls in Bloom. And so um, I too also have had cancer. My son was born with some medical challenges and we have spent quite a lot of time in the hospital. Uh, not only did I have cancer, but just growing up, I was always sick. I had so many things going on. Uh, thankfully, the Lord has brought me to the other side. Uh, but today, as I was praying for some really close friends of mine who are not doing so well uh, health-wise, um, I, was, I was just, I was laying on the ground, I was laying on the floor, praying for them, interceding for them. And in that place that I remember myself being in so many times, just going, Lord, this is out of our control. There's, I've prayed everything I can pray. I've done everything right. And Lord, this is just, it's it's not in my control and Lord, I, we need you. And so, um, one of the things that I've done in the past so many times is after a while, I just stopped praying for myself. You know, I just stopped praying, uh, that the Lord would heal me. And I just, I just start, I re, I refocus my attention on the Lord to praise him, just to praise him for who he is, because I love the Lord. And no matter what I'm going through, no matter how long or how hard it is, I can just redirect my, my attention and my focus to the Lord and just say, Lord, you are beautiful. You are marvelous. You are wonderful. Great is your name and greatly to be praised. So one of the scriptures that's been going um, in my mind, like playing over and over and over, is Romans 10. 13, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And so it was, it was interesting. I've been hearing that scripture for days now. And then I sat down to pray for my friends and do my reading, my Bible reading for the day. And sure enough, it was right there. So um, one of the things that I've done, I'm going to actually sing a song for you. It's not going to be too long. <laughs> I'm not a great singer, but I'm going to sing to you a song of something that I've done so many times when I was on my sickbed. When I was on my sickbed, there have been many times where nobody could be around me because maybe I was radioactive because of the treatments I was taking or I had something that was highly contagious and my child couldn't be around me, my husband could not be around me, nobody could be around me. And there were very lonely times. And so even if you do have people around you, when you are chronically sick and you're going through a lot of pain, you just know that you, it's just you. You have to walk it out. You have to walk it out with the Lord and it's between you and him. And people can come alongside and encourage you. But at the end of the day, it is you. It's you walking in your body, you and the Lord. And so while it can feel like a very lonely experience, it's also can be a very sweet time and a very powerful time with the Lord. And so there are many times when I just felt like I was up against the wall. I had no idea when I was going to get better, if I was going to get better, if I was going to make it, if I wasn't going to make it. There were times when my son was, was sick and he was going through his issues and I would be up against this wall not knowing exactly how it was going to turn out on the other side. And so there would be a vision that I would have sometimes an image in my mind and it would be of me sitting on a, on a, um, on a beach and I could see the wave of the tsunami coming and I'm just sitting there alone. There's nothing I can do to prevent this tsunami from hitting me, sweeping me away in a moment's notice. I'm thinking like, 
that could be it. So I would just sit there and I would say, Jesus, it's me and you. And then I would just break out in a song. It's actually a song I remember my mom singing and I could hear her, her voice singing. But I would just break out in a song. And what I'm asking you to do, if you could for a moment just come to this place where you're just sitting at this beach with the Lord, looking at the tsunami coming, knowing you don't know, again, if it's going to take you out or if the Lord's going to even stop it or if he's going to, or if it's just going to come and take you out, you don't know. But just sitting in that place and for that moment going, you know what? It doesn't matter. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to praise the Lord. And so this is what I would sing. I would sing, I give praises to your name, O Lord, praises to your name, O Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised. I give praises to your name, O Lord, praises to your name, O Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised and you just sing that song and you just you can look at your tsunami but you're sitting there with the lord and the lord is looking at your tsunami and you're just sitting with him and it's quiet it's peaceful even in that moment you don't know what's going to happen next but you just say i give praises to your name oh lord Praises to your name, O Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. So what was interesting is, to, is today when I was laying on my, on my stomach and I just said, Lord, I don't even know how to pray anymore for my friends who I care about. And I know how hard it, it is, Lord. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It was like where I would come to this moment where I would be so many times. So I started to sing that song over them. But then this is the interesting part is that you get into this place with no expectation other than just to sing praises to his name. And I encourage you to do that for as long as it takes. But more times than not, soon after, I literally, I then I saw, I could hear the Lord say, he'd say, now declare this and now i then what i saw is i saw that there was a storm ahead of me ahead, ahead of my friends raging and this is this is um this is uh we're talking about prayer intercession now okay so as a prayer intercessor i'm like lord what do i pray now what do i do because i want to be still if you're not saying for me to do anything i'm going to just be still and i'm gonna praise you but the moment you tell me to do something, I'm going to go do that. And so then I'd see, I saw myself with this, t pick up this ginormous arrow. And the arrow had this huge, um, I'm looking up over here because I could see a feather <laughs> just floating around in the sky. <laughs> That's not a sky, I'm in my office, but in the air right here above the video. Thank you, Lord, that you're here, that the angelic presence is here. So I, I saw this, actually the, air, the head of the arrow was probably, actually it's bigger. My, my, my video is not going to be able to capture it. It was really large, the head, the pointy head of the arrow. And I took this arrow, I picked it up and I put it in my bow. And I just, I watched the Lord and I said, Lord, what do I do next? What do I do? And he would show me in the vision. And as he would show me what I was doing, what I should do, then I would declare it out loud. And this is part of the prayer intercession, praising the Lord, praising the Lord, and then just acting when he says to act. Otherwise, if he doesn't say to act, then just rest. But anyway, I picked up this arrow and I pulled it back and it's a big old arrow, but I'm praying for a lot of people right now. A lot of people right now, more than just my, a couple, you know, a few friends that I have that are not feeling well. I've got a lot of people on my prayer list and I just pulled this arrow back. And he said, now release it and declare 
Let all of our enemies be scattered. For everyone that I was praying for, I all of our enemies be scattered. So I just pulled that back. And I like to kind of say, like, you know, take that. Because I'm I'm tired of I'm tired of taking it and I don't take it anymore. I don't take it anymore without doing something back, like to the enemy. But I don't move until the Lord tells me to move. Otherwise, you just be burning, burning yourself out. So you wait on the Lord. You praise him. You sit in his presence. You get into that secret place where it's just you and the Lord. And you say, Lord, is this a battle that you're going to fight for me? Or is this a battle that you want me to do something? And oftentimes, honestly, oftentimes really what it is, it's just, it's literally just um, repositioning our mind so that we think the way that he thinks and also saying only what he tells us to say. So I'm going to pray for you right now. I'm going to pull that arrow back and I'm just going to declare that your enemies be scattered. Okay. So Father, I just thank you, God, for these strategies. I declare the peace of God for anyone who's going through a storm, anything that's raging, whether it be something physical, mental, or I just feel like just spiritual chaos, whatever it may be. I just declare peace into your storm right now in the name of Jesus Christ, peace to your storm. I ask you, God, that you impart to them strategies on how to fight or how to rest, how, what to do in this battle, because we are in a war and the war is made up of a lot of different battles, okay? And sometimes you need to retreat and, re and rest. Sometimes another group will come out and fight. Other times you need to just stay back and get your intel before you go back. And, some, and then other times you have to go out and you have to fight. You have to get dirty and it's painful sometimes. But as long as we are being directed by the Lord, he is our commander in chief. In chief. Jesus is our commander in chief. You don't do anything unless he tells you to do it. That's how you stay safe. That's how you win also. I want to win. I like to win. I win now. I win because I am being obedient to the Lord. I'm only fighting in the way that he tells me to fight. So, Father, I just thank you, God, for this revelation for your people. Father, I ask you, God, that this would just, that this word would just, just go into their soul and like would just be go into their mind and that their spirit would come alive that greater is he who is in you jesus who's living in you is greater than he that is in the world so father i declare that the jesus who is living in us would be made manifest in the natural bringing glory to you father and bringing correction wherever there needs to be correction so healing, prosperity, freedom of the mind, freedom from depression, anxiety, chaos, freedom from suicidal thought, from just calling out some things that I'm hearing, freedom from, uh, from back pain, freedom from high blood pressure, freedom from chaos, freedom from any kind of attack that the enemy is throwing your way. Freedom, freedom, freedom. And a reconciliation uh, it, within families, within marriages, uh, between spouses, uh, siblings, uh, children. I thank you, Father. And I thank you, God, that you put favor on them. Favor on them. Help them to rise above their circumstances. Help them to rise above and to see that they are seated in heavenly places. And that they pray and they declare from that position and no other position. So Father, I just pull back the arrow right now and I let it go and I say in the name of Jesus, let your enemies, enemies be scattered now in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for your people. We bless your name. Your name, Jesus, is great and you are greatly to be praised. I thank you guys. You have a wonderful day. Be blessed. Until next time. Bye.